Okay, uh, good day everyone and uh, we are group 2 and we are going to present or to discuss uh, to you the topic that assigned to our group. Okay? Is that clear? Okay, okay. So before we start to the uh, discussion, let's have an opening prayer first. Okay, so I encourage everyone to bow all your heads and feel the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. And um, before we proceed to our discussion, I am going uh, to show you a two pictures and all you need to do is to uh, identify what is the um, two pictures all about. If you have any idea, you are free uh, to answer. Okay, is that clear? Okay, so let's go. Okay, so do you have any idea what is the two pictures all about? okay so yes yes angelica okay so what again okay woman okay so very good how about uh uh the left or the right uh picture okay so yes mr red okay so uh if you uh see that it is somehow uh, related to love okay so very good okay so do you have any idea what is our topic for today mm -hmm. yes yes Christian okay so our topic for today is what L woman and love okay so very good Okay, so before we start our discussion, we are going to play a game. So, play a game. Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> okay, so you are ready. Okay, so do you have any idea what is the jumbled letters? Yes, Jalen. Okay, woman. Very good. How about this one? Yes, Andrea. Okay, so this is a law. Very good. You are all correct. Okay, so before we proceed to our discussion, uh, let me uh, read first the, our objectives for today's discussion. Okay, so at the end of the lesson, the students are able to first is to identify the different laws that promote gender and equality. The last one is appreciate the importance of law protecting women's rights. Okay, so our topic for today is all about women and the law. Okay, uh, before uh, we proceed, let me introduce my name first. My name is Lisbeth Listora, and um, I'll be uh, the first reporter for today. Okay, so... Uh, the first one is the 1987 Constitution, uh, Section 14. The state shall protect working women by providing safe and helpful working condition, taking into account their maternal function and such facilities and opportunities that will enhance their welfare and enable them to realize their full uh, potential in the service of the nation. And that is uh, the 1987 Constitution. And uh, let's go uh, here to various law promoting gender and equality. Uh, and the first one is the local government um, code of 1991. Uh, when we say about uh, uh, this um, uh, in this, uh, it is uh, provides for the election of uh, sec uh, 
pictorial representation, uh, including a uh, woman uh, in local uh, legislative um, councils. And the second one is the party list law. Okay, uh, when we say about uh, the party list law, um, provides for the compete uh, under the party list system, woman is one of the nine sectors identified in the law, right? Okay, uh, when we say about um, this uh, party list law, it is, uh, what we call that? Uh, hmm. Okay, uh, when we say about a uh, party list uh, law, uh, no person shall nominate it as party list representative unless he is a natural uh, born citizen of the Philippines, of the Republic of the Philippines, rather. Um, okay, so since malapit na yung election, uh, so ano nga ba yung one of the uh, na dapat kapag lalaban ka ng mga uh, any uh, or for example a senator or president ano ba itong sinasabi nating party list na to party list law okay for example lalaban ka ng pagka presidente it is important na one year is nakatira ka na dito sa Pilipinas for example dito ako pinanganak then tumira ka sa ibang bansa for your work right and for any other matters and then suddenly gusto mong tumakbo ka ng pagka presidente so uh, the state will not allow you if you are only 5 months here na nag stay dito sa Pilipinas then suddenly you um, think na lalaban ako ng pagka presidente so that is not really possible okay so you need uh, you need uh, one year to stay here in the Philippines so that uh, the state um, allow you to um, uh, uh, to run as uh, president, vice president or uh, senate or like that or in the congress rather that is uh, in this um, party list representative it is uh, includes that uh, you must be a natural uh, born Filipino so that uh uh, the state will allow you to to run for the position here in the Philippines and the labor code let's go here in the labor code uh, when we say about uh, uh, the labor code na to dito na papasok na yung uh, it covers issues such as night work prohibition. It specifies that employers must provide special facilities for women. Prohibition of discrimination by reason of marriage of a woman worker. Okay, so in this alo, for example, uh, na sa kung labor code na to yung mga ane, yung mga for example yung overtime. Uh, in this labor code. Uh, especially since I am working in a uh, food uh, in a food industry uh, you have only eight hours to stay in the store and kapag lumampas ka sa eight hours na yun uh, the store will uh, uh, give you another payment for the overtime and uh, when we say about labor code eight hours lang yung dapat na i-stay mo or i-work mo kapag ikaw ay lumampas that is considered as overtime and uh, the the uh, company or the establishment will uh, pay you another money for that um, um, for that extend extend uh, for that extend uh, of your work in their um, establishment okay and the uh, second one is woman in nation building law republic act 7192 of 1991 okay so it is an act of uh, promoting the integration of women as full and equal um, 
um, partners of men in development and nation building. Uh, the law provides uh, that a uh, substantial um, portion of government resources be utilized to uh, support programs uh, activities uh, for women. And uh, the next one is 1998 Com Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Law. Uh, so if you could remember, uh, before hindi pwedeng magmayari yung mga babae ng sariling lupa. Okay, so in this um, um, law, uh, is it, it is possible na magkaroon ng sariling lupa yung mga babae and then um, pwede nilang ipamana sa anak nila mga lalaki. Uh, so this is um, uh, law will help uh, for women to have their own land. Okay, so kung napapansin nyo, uh, ito ha, since bawal uh, mag, uh, magkaroon ng business dito yung mga uh, taga ibang bansa or the foreigners, foreigners rather, yung iba nag-aasawa ng mga Pilipino so that uh, they will have the um, paper uh, that uh, allow them to have a business here in the Philippines. Okay? So, that is the agrarian reform law uh, that allow women to have their own uh, land. Uh, various law promoting gender uh, equality. Uh, Republic Act 768, uh, 1994. Okay. Okay. So, it is an act giving representation to women in Social Security Commission. Okay. So, um, uh, we all know that uh, SSS uh, administration and seven, uh, they will appoint seven uh, members and uh, three of whom shall represent the labor group and one of whom shall be a woman three the management group okay labor group management group and uh of course uh they are all they are all women and the one uh the general public to be appointed by the um, president of the republic of the philippines okay so, the next one is um, anti-sexual harassment law. Okay, so it is an act declaring sexual harassment to be unlawful in the employment, education, or training environment. Okay, so that is uh, many uh, women uh, experience this kind of anti-sexual um, harassment law. And I, they experience harassment, sexual harassment rather. And uh, this um, act, which is the anti-sexual harassment, law, will help uh, women uh, that experiencing sexual harassment law. Okay, so the next one is re, uh, Republic Act 7822. An act providing assistance to women engaging micro and cottages business enterprise. Okay, so the next one is Republic Act 8353, an ex expanding the definition of the crime of rape, classifying the same as crime against person. Okay. Okay, so the Republic Act 7822 is a, um, an act providing assistance to women engaging in a micro impact in a business. They will uh, give a assistance for uh, the woman that already in the field of business enterprise okay uh, and this will uh, this act will help a uh, woman that uh, already in the uh, business um, enterprise okay and the next one is Republic Act okay so we are done okay. and so so now we are going to proceed to a uh, law that protect women and the first one is 105, 105 day expanded maternity leave law, Republic A. There's an error lang pero 105 yun. Okay, so just like what I had mentioned earlier, uh, before kasi ang binibigay nila ay 3 months, uh, 3 months na leave. 
Halimbawa sa teacher, they will uh, give three months. And then suddenly, naging two months na lang. Then, kapag naman uh, nasiyas yung uh, teacher or any uh, person na merong maternity leave, uh, they will uh, give 105 uh, days to recover from uh, the uh, dun sa panganak nila, especially uh, dun sa mga nasiyas. And that is the law. Okay. And the next one is prohibition and discrimination against women. RA 67025. Uh, uh, under uh, this law, um, any employer pay favoring a male employee over a female in terms of promotion, training opportunities, and benefits solely on account sex is considered discrimination. And this will, um, uh, Republic six seven to five will help women diba uh, pag minsan sa trabaho uh, yung kalimitang na po promote lang is yung mga lalaki so it will considered as discrimination kasi malay mo naman mas magaling talaga yung mga babae pero because of the gender they uh, it will also a lead for the uh, manager or the above for the manager to decide the uh, promotion because you are the uh, uh, men and they will give the um, that kind of promotion and that is considered as discrimination and this will uh, uh, law and this is law uh, will help uh, to help for that kind of situation and the second one is anti-violence against women and the Child Act of 2004. Okay. So, um, um, under this law, the state also recognized the need to protect the family and its members, particularly women and the children, uh, from the violence um, and threats uh, to their uh, personal safety and uh, security. Okay. So, Ito yung mga ano, anti-violence against women and their aklo. Diba, pag minsan kalimitan kasi dito gantong case yung mga yung asawa din or yung father yung pinakanya nanak eh. So, uh, this is uh, a help for that kind of situation uh, which is this law, anti-violence against women and their child. A children act of 2004. And the next one is assistance for small-scale women entrepreneurs. Uh, it is a uh, republic act uh, that uh, the states are uh, the provision of assistance to women engaging in micro in kind of business and process and other purposes was approved okay so I already include here I already include it dun sa kabila na tiniscuss ko kanina and the government uh, will give or uh, will um assist give assistance for example uh, uh, yung business mo ay kailangan ng ganitong pera uh, pwede kang pahiramin ng government pero may mga memorandum agreement na magaganap sa yung way ng pag uh, pagbibigay nila sa ng assistance okay and then last one is the Magna Carta of Women Republic of 9710 okay so, it is a comprehensive women's human right law that seeks to eliminate discrimination through the recognition, protection, fulfillment, and promotion of the rights of Filipino women, especially those belonging in the uh, marginalized sectors of the society. And uh, this um, uh, Magna Carta of Women, Republic of 9710, will help, will help women. Uh, to uh, eliminate the discrimination in the society that happening in the society okay so since we are done uh, uh, discussing I have a question do you, do you think it is very do you think it is very do you think it is important for a woman to have a law this kind of law yes okay if you are going to ask me definitely yes 
it is very important uh, for human to have this kind of law of course to protect them for the violence to protect them from the discrimination from the society right okay so and this uh, law will help uh, to overcome all those discrimination and um, violence in the uh, vicinity okay so i have also a question do you have any idea what is the date of the national women's day mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so did you have any idea which which month okay any month okay so very good march every march is gonna celebrate you uh, national women's day okay so that's all and that is my uh, report again my name is Lisbeth Estura <laughs> signing off <Shut> up. <laughs> good afternoon my name is Jenna Marie Bioka and I'm going to report the national programs first national programs Philippine Plan for Gender Responsive Development, year 1995 to 2025. Uh, it is a national plan that addresses, provides, and pursues full for equality and development for men and women, approved and adopted by former President Fidel V. Ramos as exec Executive Numbers 273 on September 8, 1995, and uh, it is the successor of the Philippine Development Plan for Women, year 1989 to 1992, adopted by Executive Number 348 of February 17, 1989. Number two, the gender. Number two, the gender and development budget. It was developed developed in the 1980s. Uh, 1980s. So, gender and development budget applies gender analysis to uncover the ways in which men and women work together, presenting results in neutral terms of economics and competence. Gender and development budget focus primarily on two major. Uh, frameworks, gender roles, and social relations analysis. Gender role focus on social construction of identities within the household. It also reveals the expectations from maleness and femaleness in their relative access to resources. The last one is the national programs, which is the framework plan for women. So the framework plan for women emphasizes human rights and situates VAW in its uh, goal to promote women's human rights, committing to protect the advanced women's human rights through to rules, threatened service and justice de delivery systems for uh, survivor, survivors of VWA, uh, VAW and an information education campaign on women's rights. Year 2002, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo supported the Framework Plan for Women. The Framework, framework Plan for Women acknowledges the interrelationship of BAW, reproductive health and human rights, and reflects this in a, its commitment to addressing the structural, structural roots of gender gaps. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Angelica Trinidad from BTPTE 3P. And I will be your reporter three for today. And for today's topic, I will be displaying about women's right to participate. So before I start my topic, I would like to ask you a question. Do you think women's participation is very important? Did you probably know? Did you probably yes? <laughs> but the answer is definitely yes. Women's participation is very important because it gives us a gender equality to everyone. So, women's political participation is very fundamental because it for gender equality and genuine democracy. It facilitates women's engagement in public decision making and is a means of ensuring better accountability to women. As a level of government closest to citizen local authorities can play a vital role 
in addressing gender inequality and involving the capaci uh, the capacity the capacities of gender of women that involving them in a local decision making. Planning and management, the importance of that role was to recognize by the International Union of Local Authorities. From nineteen ninety eight to twenty sixteen, the percentage of women elected into public office ranged from sixteen point one percent to twenty one point thirty four percent urging its peak in twenty sixteen's election. In the 2019 national and local elections, only 20.16% or 8,752 of the candidates were female. Women are often dynamic leaders of change. Galvanizing women and men to get involved, claim their rights, strengthen their communities, and protect their planets. Their participation is a fundamental to democratic governance. Women's right to vote was granted in 1937. The Constitution of 1925 stipulated that the right of suffrage will be extended to women only if 300,000 women voted in, if favored during national plebiscite. This consolidated the emerging women's movement brought to the fresh to the fore of activism of such women as Conception Felix de Calderon, Rosa Sevilla de Alvaro. A young Trinidad Almeda, Miss Constancia Poblete, Pura Villanueva Calao, and Paz Mendoza Guazen. Pilar Hidalgo Lim, Jose Valdianes Escada, it turned out 447,725 women voted Tez in the 1937 Plexi visit. Interestingly, 44,307 women voted against the provision. It turned out 447,725 women voted Tez in the 1937 publicity. Interestingly, 44,307 women voted against the provision. So, if you're just going to look back at the past, only men have all the rights to do the things they want. Only men have the right to vote. Only men have the right to be elected. And only a man can have a right to take a leg. But in the twenty one but in the twenty first century everyone can be leader. Everyone can take a lead. A female can be elected, a female can vote, and a female they have the right to express their thoughts and a freedom of expression. So this would be for today. I hope you understand something and I hope you listen. So have a good day. I'll see you again. Goodbye. Good day, my name is Ira Jane Ayanka and I'm going to discuss the women's involvement in civil society. Women's expressions of involvement in civil society could be through organizing along gender-specific issues and formation of all women groups within broad coalitions as power-enhancing mechanisms. Groups such as Filipina Feminista Movement, the militant Gabriela Women's Group, the Ugnayan ng Kababaihan sa Politika, the Kilas Cabarro, and Civil Legislative Network have trailblazed women advocacies, both in policies and in legislation. So, ano ba yung trailblazed women advocacies? So, ibig sabihin, ito mga groups na to, meron na silang nagawa o meron na silang na-implement na policies and legislation regarding women. So, paano na-express ng mga woman, ng mga kababaihan, ang involvement nila sa civil society? So, sumasali sila or nakikiisa sila sa mga policies and legislations and advocacy ng mga group ng mga groups na to kagaya ng Pilipina Feminista Movement, the Militant Gabriela Women's Group, we are, we are all familiar with this one, um, which is ang goal is to organize gender specific issues and formation of all women groups. So nagsasama-sama ang mga kababaihan para ipaglaban yung kanilang mga karapatan bilang babae. Sa 
tulong ng mga grupo na nauna nang magbigay ng mga policies and legislations kagaya nga ng Pilipina Feminista Movement. Ang kailangan na lang gawin ay palawigin ito at makaisa tayo sa mga mga aktibidades nila nang sa gayon ay mas mapalawak pa yung involvement ng mga kababaihan sa civil society. Next is women and education. The Philippine educational system is a combination of public and private institutions with the state providing pre-education for elementary and secondary levels. The constitution provides that Without limiting the natural rights of parents to rear their children, elementary education is compulsory for all children of school age. In Article, Article 9, Section 2. So we all know naman na in the traditional way of living, women are not allowed to go to school. Inaasahan lang sila sa bahay. Sa paglalaba, sa paghugas ng pahinggan, sa pag-aasikaso sa mga anak nila or sa asawa nila. But then, nagkaroon ng changes. Lalo na when the Philippine educational system adopted the public and private institution kung saan nagbibigay sila ng pre-education for elementary and secondary levels. So, nakalagay nga sa Article 9, Section 2 ng Philippine Constitution, Without limiting the natural rights of parents to rear their children, elementary education is compulsory for all children of school age. So, what do we mean by compulsory? Compulsory means it is required by the law or by the rule. So, with that being said, so lahat ng bata ay required na mag-undergo ng elementary education. Um, without, kumbaga, babae ka man o lalaki, or kung ano mang gender mo, you are required to attend elementary education. As long as tarating mo na yung age na dapat ka nang pumasok sa school. There is no general discrimination of girl education. Thus, there is no marked differences existing in the educational status of Filipino women and men. Dahil nga nagkaroon na ng karapatan yung mga kababaihan na pumasok sa paaralan, wala nang discrimination. So, women and men... So, both women and men is meron ng pagkakataong mag-avail ng education as long as yung willingness nila is nandodoon. That's all. Thank you.